Hello beloveds and welcome to the channel. I'm Erica. I'm a psychic medium and a prophetess. I hope that this message finds you well. If this energy of the video, the title drew you in, then you're definitely here for a reason. Um, if you're new, welcome loves. If you are returning, welcome back. All right, so I'm gonna get right into this um, this message. So it's been a really intense day. We have like so much energy, right? So I've been busy. I've been working with clients um, and I have these downloads coming through. So I'm trying to squeeze in some shorter videos for you guys so I can get them out and release the energy. And then you guys can receive the message that you're meant to receive for whoever it's for. Okay. This message, I specifically was connecting with the goddesses this morning. Um, and I asked the god head, the goddess, what is the most important message for the collective right now? Okay. And the, 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 the answer, the guidance is quite simple, but very powerful. And so the goddess energy is saying to, to all of us right now, um, pay attention to the areas where you are feeling the most struggle, resistance, difficulty, um, whether this is, you know, physical, financial, emotional, with people around you, connections, you know, relationships, boundaries, whatever it is, okay? It's going to be different for everybody. And it doesn't just have to be one thing for you. It could be, you know, a multitude of things, right? Um, but the goddess is very, very, very adamant about pay attention to where you're feeling that pull or that resistance. That is where the healing needs to occur. That is where you need to dive in, connect, to dive deeper. And there's lessons, healing within these areas, okay? Um, I'm going to go ahead and just pull some cards. So one thing that's coming through is um, like not feeling secure or grounded in your current life, reality, whatever it is, okay? And that is pretty normal right now, I must say, right? Because of the energy, the transits, the solar flares, Schumann resonance is like going absolutely bonkers. I posted something, um, I posted the Schumann resonance um, earlier uh, on the community page um, because we're just receiving so much angelic light coming through, crystalline light coming through to the earths. Um, magnetic field. Okay. Like, and we are a part of that. So we're receiving a lot through our crown chakras right now, right? Through our crown chakra and then right down into the third eye, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Right. So there's a lot of stuff maybe happening with emotions, physical, you know, <clears throat> different things, tightness in the body or tension in the body, or maybe there's a lot of, um, clenching jaw. You know, I find myself, I keep clenching my jaw. And I don't really, I don't ever do that, you know, but I keep catching myself clenching my jaw. Um, I've been being guided to like rub, like really rub and like work with the, with my, the muscles in my cheeks and my jaw, et cetera. Um, but this is all that energy coming through. And if we aren't grounding, if we're not moving our body, if we're not hydrating with water, if we're not doing what we need to do to pull that down and anchor it in, then we're going to feel really funky. We're going to feel real funky and it can come through in many different, many different ways, right? Okay. So the goddess energy is saying that you are receiving, right? So much. Okay. And as you're receiving pinpoint and pay attention to the body, pay attention to your emotions, pay attention to, like I said, where the resistance is taking place in your life, in your current reality. We have Mercury closing out uh, in just a couple days. It's um, just what, like three days or something. It's going, finally, it's going direct again, right? Um, Which is gonna help bring us out of 
that stagnant energy it's gonna it's like a propelling energy it's like propelling us forward where things start to flow again right um so it's gonna really help okay but then like we're moving into september on september 1st which is a really big deal i will probably end up doing a reading about this when when we get closer to that time pluto is moving back into capricorn for like i don't know 79 days or 72 days or something and that's going to affect ev that's going to affect all of us that's going to affect all of us no matter what right because that's pluto saying where are the loose ends that need to be tied up like what needs to still be resolved cleaned up less what lessons need to be learned you know what hasn't been resolved here you know um and then after the, the and then after pluto moves back into aquarius again after like what 70 something days or whatever that's going to be like so huge for us okay um, and the cardinal signs, uh, with Pluto going back into Capricorn, it's the car, the cardinal, uh, Zodiac signs, like are going to be really feeling it too. Okay. So just an FYI, and maybe you've done a lot of work and maybe you're not going to feel it as much, but that residue of the past, whatever needs to be tied back, you know, tied up like loose ends, that's where we're going to feel it. Okay. So that's why the goddess is advising and trying to guide all of us right now to just allow ourselves to be present as much as we can like i said tune in to what you're feeling what you're picking up on where there's resistance or issues um you know and i do keep hearing like finances 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 and i think for a lot of people in the collective that the financial sector of our, you know, and this, so this could be like second house is kind of what I'm picking up on. Like your, um, like financial stability, et cetera, et cetera. And I'm not an astrologer, so I don't know like all the things about astrology, you know, but I do know things and know enough. Um, so maybe there's been stagnancy or things have been felt like a delay or on pause or maybe financial financial inflow like the flow like you know got messed up the things like that that happened during mercury retrograde like an example that's coming through is like during a mercury retrograde i would not be surprised you know or not i would not be surprised but during a mercury retrograde like something that would happen that's very mercury retrograde in the financial sector would be you know, a bank account getting hacked or, you know, someone getting a hold of your, your credit card number or something, you know, and then draining the funds or do you know what I mean? Or something unexpected, a bill pops up or something in your home breaks and, you know, you, you're, 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 you're stressing because you got to like fork up the money now to replace your refrigerator or your washer and dryer or, okay. So it's like things like that. Okay. Um, Okay, so let's get, let's just pull a couple Oracle cards because like I said, this isn't, these are, I'm just getting so much, you guys, that even, you know, for me, I have to get this, stuff, I have to channel it out and share it because that's a way that I, um, you know, release energy that comes through too, like collective energy or whatever, you know? <laughs> Basically, when I, when I'm reading, when I'm doing what I, what I do professionally for work, <clears throat> I feel a lot better if I, you know, am not channeling out stuff that's coming through. I can feel the energy build up. Okay. <laughs> so thank you for being here with me. All right. So I'm going to just get an or a couple Oracle cards here. We're going to see what messages want to come through beyond what I just shared. Um, if there's a lot of resistance between you and a family member, if there's a lot of resistance between you and a partner or a friend or, you know, um, you know, if there's like struggle at work or resistance at work, okay, like that's what the goddess is saying. She's saying that this is, this is what we need to, that this is what we need to pay attention to, okay? And that's where the releasing needs to be done or the you know, endings need to occur or whatever it is, the healing, you know? Okay. And the goddess energies that are very present, uh, that I was, that were coming through and that I was connecting with this morning, 
very strongly is uh, Goddess Isis, Mary Magdalene, Aphrodite, Kuan Yin, and Hathor. Okay, so they're coming through very strongly to me um, for me personally, but I, but they also bring messages through and things through for the collective, you know, so, and I can discern, I know this is for me, this is what I need, but this is for the collective, you know, okay, so any of these goddess energies, they might be showing up for you right now, okay, and as I'm saying that now, Mother Mary's presence is coming through very strongly too, all of a sudden, um, and, you know, Mother Mary is the cosmic mother, she, you know, helps with that emotional healing and heart wounds and healing the heart and, you know, opening the heart and like all these things. Okay. Um, <laughs> it's funny. Cause as I'm saying that I'm hearing Lainey Wilson, heart like a truck. I've got a heart like a truck. It's been drugged through the mud. Right. So it's like mother Mary's coming through and this is who she's speaking to. She's saying like, if this is you, if you feel like, yeah, my heart's been drugged through the mud, you know, um, she wants to help you. She wants to help nurture and love you and mother you and, um, help you heal these wounds that are still affecting in whatever way within the heart space. Okay. Goddess Isis is, is coming through with soul retrieval work. Okay, so past life healing and soul retrieval. So if that's something that you feel you want help with or that you need help with or you want to connect to, okay, call on her, work with her for that. Here we go. Ooh. Lady Portia. Divine order. I love all this beautiful lavender and and purple violet like energy. Okay. Speaking of like violet, for some of you guys, um, right? If you are feeling like that heaviness, dense energy, I just uploaded this morning here on the channel um a like a minute and a half light language transmission with goddess Hathor. <clears throat> and the Hathors, excuse me, <clears throat> and um, and that's what it was for, the guidance, it, that's what it was for, was to help clear, transmute, and, and clear away, like, dense energy that might be in the body, or in, a sh in the chakras, or in just energy field, okay, um, <clears throat> so you may want to check that out if you, you know, if you feel called or guided, um, but going back to, like, the purple violet energy, the violet flame, the violet flame and working with the lavender flame. Okay. So they're different color ray frequencies. Um, working with St. Germain and the violet flame calling. And then the, la I mean, cause see all the different like tones of like purple, you have lavender, you have like that white crystalline light, and then you have dark purple. You have, right. Okay. So this is kind of like, like if I was to sit down and transmute out, I would work with the violet flame. But I would picture myself literally like how um, Lady Portia is here. I would picture myself in this, in these rays of light, just like that. Just put your, just put yourself where she is and tap into that intention and that imagination. Okay. All right. So do what you feel is right. An important lesson is unfolding. Exactly. Exactly. So goddess energy coming through confirming what I just said about the paying attention to where you feel the sh like something needs to shift here. Something needs to shift here. Okay. Um, and as I was talking about like the violet flame, my throat chakra started choking up. Okay. So I feel that for a lot of you guys out there, this is about your truth your authenticity, um, your, your self-expression. So there's like, what I'm receiving is like, I'm seeing blockages within the throat chakras. Okay. Even though, yes, many of you guys tuning in, right? Like we, we, we do stand in our power and our truth, right? But that's what, that's what it's kind of saying is like, 
how are you not how are you not honoring your truth how are you not expressing your truth whether that's a truth about a situation to another person um with yourself like having a talk with yourself right and being honest with yourself about certain things okay so again it's just coming through so i'm going to share it okay if you're finding yourself like going <clears throat> or clearing a lot like before you speak or if you find yourself clearing like needing to clear your throat a lot or if you're having those like moments like I just had where you get that like funky you know like kind of choky kind of you know blocked energy um then more than likely you have a throat chakra block and and you need to clear it and the way that well there's different ways you can clear it but one way is expressing yourself okay so like if there's things that weigh heavy on you or in your heart or, you know, that is your truth or maybe you never got to speak a truth to someone, um, then this is the opportunity right now to do that, okay? Like, writing is fantastic. So, if it's like, you know, I, I someone, you know, I have trauma wounds from, from you know, uh, my father growing up or something, right? Okay, so if you can't or don't speak your truth to that person about the wounds or whatever, how they, you know, if you can't speak your truth, then writing it out, okay, is like such a wonderful way, okay? So anyways, it's just, it's coming through, so I'm going to share, okay? Mary Magdalene is showing up on the bottom here. The teacher awakens. Red roses, the uh, order of the rose, um, and white lilies. There's been a lot of references recently to white lilies, okay? Which speaks of purity and divinity and, you know, that sovereign energy, of course. But there's more to it. So you might want to look up the spiritual meaning of the white lily. Um, even red rose, right? It's the teacher awakens. Okay, so you have something important to share. Follow the inner call and don't let anything stop you. Okay, so again, more messages from the goddesses here. Don't let anything stop you. Okay, right now your divine teacher within, for many of you guys, is awakening. It's like the moment where we shift into, right, a new paradigm, right? We're in between realms right now. That's what, another reason why it feels so funky, so crazy, right? Um... But you hold the power to call in the timeline that you desire. Okay? So, um, and then with this, it's like the student becomes the teacher, right? And then I'm also getting right with that student analogy, when the student is ready, the teacher appears. Okay? So there could be, you know, your divine essence teacher within is awakening and maybe it's time for you to follow what you feel you're meant to do or as a part of your soul calling. Um however that looks okay because honestly we're always students of life we're always going to be peeling back more layers like this is not like oh here i came here you know and i've i've done enough healing and now i'm done and you know i feel i'm ready it's like no if, if that was the case you would you would you would be an ascended master you would have ascended the incarnation okay so we're always going to be on this journey of peeling back more and going deeper right but that's a part of becoming the master, the ascended master, right? Mastering this ascension, this earth school. And that's what it is. It's an earth school. That's why we're here, right? We are the masters, ascended masters on earth at this time. But I'm like, why am I like, why is this like so big right now? Like, why is this coming through so strongly right now? Okay. What is the deal with all this? As, like, okay. Because what I'm receiving is that there could be some, you know, people that stumble across this message that feel that way. Like I've done a bunch of healing and, you know, but it's like the goddesses are saying, we're always, we're always going deeper into our healing journey. Okay. So if that's you, it's okay. Right. It's all right. Let's see. So I asked about like the whole, like everything that just came through about that. Okay. Charity. Look at, look at more of this beautiful rose energy. Prayer and contemplation. Connect with heaven. Ask and you shall receive. 
Another thing that's coming through very strongly from with the goddesses is, and you know, be open to connect with guides and spiritual teachers and, you know, ancestors, whatever it is, deities that call out to you, that you feel a connection with. Maybe it's Lady Nada, maybe it's Yeshua, maybe it's Mary Magdalene, maybe it's Kuan Yin, right? Maybe it's Buddha. It, it's just take it and green Tara, whoever's coming to you or you're feeling that call to, then that's the one that wants to connect and work with you. They're the ones that have something to help you with, with whatever you're going through at this time. That's why they show up when they do, right? Okay. So also with prayer and contemplation, um, it's allowing yourself moments and I don't mean just like one or two minutes. I mean, like try to sit five, 10, 15 minutes or more, you know, um, you know, maybe once, twice, several times a day, even. Okay. Like I'm always going out, like in between clients, readings, recordings, I'm always going out and I'll connect and then I receive more, but I, I'm intentional with it. Right? Like I have to be, I had to teach myself that that's how I learn. That's, that is the way of the priestess. That is the walk of the priestess path. Right? Um, or, or, or high priest path. Okay. Um, but it's making sure that you're taking time to connect with heaven, ask and you shall receive. Okay. So asking about signs, confirmations, questions, guidance. Okay. They're letting you know, like if you ask, you will receive without a shadow of a doubt. Okay. It's also about, like I said, choosing those timelines, choosing those timelines, right? Ask, tell the universe, this is what I desire. This is what I want. You know, be intentional with that as well. Okay. But stillness, quiet time, meditation, grounding, connecting to nature, prayer, you know, it, it's all going to, you know, it's all going to help a lot through this crazy, chaotic, energetic time that we are all feeling. Horus. I love it. Horus. I had a visit from a hawk this morning. Actually, um, right when I started connecting with Hathor this morning, right before I received the, the download of the light, the light language activation that I shared on here, um, this beautiful hawk energy. It was like the most be this beautiful hawk. All of a sudden, like Hathor comes through, and then all of a sudden, I hear like the screeching of like the ho or the hawk going off like multiple times, and it flew right over, like in front of me, uh, but like across the road. Okay, like onto the little you know the the electric line wire or whatever. So that was obviously Hathor's energy coming through. That was confirmation coming through. The hawk spirit messenger coming through from the heavens. Um, it was just, you know, when you have those very beautiful divine moments with animals or nature or other things, right? Um, the cosmic gateway. Okay. Your thoughts are magnetic and powerful. Miraculous changes are occurring. Yeah. So beautiful, beautiful confirmation there, like letting everyone know here, right? Like it's been a little, it's been cray cray. It's been cray cray, right? Changes and miracles are occurring. You are in this powerful cosmic gateway, this portal. Okay. And that's why it's so important to declutter energetically, to decompress, to um, make sure you are in alignment with the miracle energy. You know what I mean? Um, which goes back to wherever you're feeling resistance within self or within your reality, your life. Um, you know, uh, are you taking good care of yourself? Are you mothering yourself the way a mother would mother their baby or child? You know, are you eating right? Are you getting enough water? Are you, you know, taking time to exercise, you know, whatever this is, right? Uh, okay. I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna leave it here. There's Lady Nada showing up. 
the heart awakening. See, I just talked all about the heart, the heart chakra, heart chakra activations, things of that nature, right? So, um, Mother Mary, phenomenal for emotional healing, motherly energy, heart chakra, clearing, healing, you know, uh, emotional wounds connected to the heart space. Um, Lady Nada, another fantastic one to work with. Okay. We have beautiful, we have a lot of like, um, we had a lot of the, uh, the rose energy coming through in this. Okay. So, um, you know, and when working, you know, when kind of working with these chakras or like the heart healing, you know, the heart is a portal, it's a gateway and the heart is the rose. Okay. So think of like a beautiful rose. Okay. Within your heart space, within your heart chakra space. Okay. Right. See that rose, you know, in whatever, maybe whatever colors you feel called to and guided to. Okay. Like for me, sometimes it's a blue rose. For me, sometimes it's a white rose. For me, sometimes it's a pink rose. For me, sometimes it's a red rose. So again, tune into your own, whatever you feel got guided to and see that beautiful rose opening, all the petals blooming, right? Beautiful, beautiful light coming through, light coming through, light coming through, and then ask for help to clear away anything, you know, connected to these petals to be cleared that doesn't belong. Okay. Um, okay. So let's see what else, what else, what else? I think I'm going to leave it here, but you know, let me get a message. Let me get a message from you know, let's do an angel. Let's do like angel messages real fast. So I I know this will find who it needs to find. You know, this isn't gonna be for everyone, but I do know collectively, like a lot of people are feeling it, you know. Um myself included, I've been feeling it too, for sure, for sure, which is why. I've been, you know, connecting and asking and like, what does the collective need? What do I need? You know, guide me, help me, you know, um, of course, a lot of, you know, downloads and, and, and spiritual guidance comes through, you know, and that helps, but but it's very clear. It's like for you to step through this to... To, so you're in the cosmic portal gateway, right? So to get through the portal and onto the other side of where you want to go or what you're calling in or what you desire, the goddess energy is saying that this is, it's important to do this work. Very important to do this work. And for some reason I'm hearing, don't get left behind. Okay. So I don't know what that means. Okay. Like it's just, we are accelerating very quickly into these higher timelines into our you know souls paths missions you know receiving what we you know that's a stuff that's a part of our destiny miracles things like that so it's almost like the goddess energy is like say, like spirit is saying like don't get left behind by refusing to do the work or don't get left behind because you're in your ego or you're being stubborn you know what i mean it's okay to admit to yourself and i think that's a big thing for a lot of people too is not going outside of yourself and like pointing fingers and this and that, you know, blame game stuff. It's about going within and saying, how am I creating resistance in my life? How am I keeping myself stuck? How am I creating blockages? You know? Um, yeah. So just pay attention to this stuff. It's like where you feel the most squeezed or the tightness right now or the resistance, whatever it is, blockages, whatever, stuck energy. Um, that's where, you know, there needs to be some kind of lesson, healing, something. Okay, here we go. Quiet retreat. Okay. It says it's time to disconnect from the outer world. Exactly. Oh, goddesses, look at this. Look at this. The goddesses are, I'm telling you, it's very strong because they're trying to guide many of us right now into a space where we are fully kind of like open to receiving. 
okay? They're just trying to help us. That's it, right? That is why, that's why, that's why they, that's why they're around, you know? There we go. It's time to disconnect from the outer world so that you can discern and process your true thoughts and feelings from your inner world. Create this quiet time for yourself and you'll have more clarity about what to do next. Exactly. Everything I just channeled out got summed up here in one last message. Okay. All right. Um, and then on the bottom of the deck here, we have successful funding. Okay. So for some of you guys, you know, maybe you have a business idea and this is about, you know, funding or investors or, you know, maybe it's just like, maybe you, maybe you are someone who's manifesting a, a, a vacation, a getaway, or going on some kind of beautiful spiritual retreat in like some exotic location. Like they do a lot of the times, right? And maybe you feel there's resistance around your finances that are preventing you or blocking you from doing that, right? So what they're saying is like, if you do this work, this stuff will come through. It will naturally just start coming through in the most miraculous, unexpected ways. Pay raises, new, new opportunities in work or something or career. Maybe you start your own, you know, business, entrepreneur, whatever it is, okay? It's like the universe is letting you know that the, the universe itself is going to bring forth successful funding to you, okay? But it's imperative that we do this work so that we can receive that. So there's no resistance around that. Do you know what I mean? In our, in our ability to receive that. Your idea is divinely guided and supported by the same infinite wisdom of God that gave you the idea. Do not allow money concerns to prevent you from turning it into reality. Crowdfunding partnerships and other investments are available to help you. There you go. Wow. Wow. Okay. Um, and what I'm getting, this is going to be for, you know, whoever it's for, it's not, this, this part's not going to be for everybody, but just right as I ended that card, um, for some of you guys out there, whatever you're doing, you know, and, and this is more of like an online presence is what I'm getting here, but it doesn't have to be, but I'm getting it very strongly for online presence. So if you have a YouTube channel or a TikTok or, you know, maybe you're a, a, a chef and maybe you, you, you cook beautiful stuff on Instagram and you're trying to, you know, get funding, you're doing a, maybe a cookbook, you're like, right? The message here is that someone very important catches, like you catch the eye of someone very important, someone who has the ability to connect with you and open massive doors of opportunity and a lot of wealth, okay? So again, whoever that's for, it'll connect with you, you'll know, right? Okay. So this is what I've got. Thank you, goddesses, for your guidance always. Thank you so much. Um, thank you to the collective. Thank you guys for being here. Uh, if you guys want to um, connect with me, work with me one-on-one, -on -one, connect with my gifts, you can find all of the options, different spiritual services, reading options down below. Um, I do intuitive energetic quantum healing sessions with clients. I do general psychic mediumship readings. I also, in this lifetime, am a, a, a past life Akashic guide readers so i open up the akashic records and we dive into your past lives who you've been where you've been when you've been a 20 minute vent sesh so it's all there okay um have a beautiful rest of your day and i hope that this helps i know that if this message is for you it will it'll probably be exactly what you just needed to hear today um and i'm so thankful for that so love and light to all of you guys